my 21 day raw food challenge. Uh, this week has been really hard for me. I am detoxing and detoxing and detoxing and it, it's not so pretty, not at all. I do not have problems with my skin by far. I don't have acne. Um, I had it middle school and never really had much to worry about after then. I don't use any special anything to wash my face with. Um, once a month maybe, once every other month I do like a deep cleaning but other than that it's basically just water. But right now I am, I, I have a bump down here that I'm broke out with. I'm broke out right here. I have acne all over my back. It is so bad. It's it's just it's irritating because I'm always scratching it and I have to be careful what shirts that I wear because it itch so bad and I'm extreme I, I'm not motivated so I, you know I don't know if that has anything to do with detoxing but I'm pretty sure it does because I have been motivated to work out every single day and right now I'm just like why work out like I think about it at night it was I was to a point where I would not um, go to bed if I didn't work out and so if it was 12 1 o'clock in the morning and I finished YouTube and I was going to the TV to do P90X and I have not done energy week. before and this week I'm just not I'm just kind of like blah haven't really did anything just been hanging out around the house got up and went to the doctor and I didn't even feel like putting clothes on I didn't feel like getting dressed I was just like I could have went to the doctor in my pajamas and that would have just suited oh, me just fine. Mm. Why do anything? So, hopefully, you know, the detox will be done and my back can quit itching. Oh, my back is, is really bad. The acne is horrible. I, like I was going to quit talking and I'm still talking. But sometimes for dinner, I'll just go to the bed with eating a bowl of watermelon and grapes. And it doesn't seem like that should be something that someone eats for dinner but it's very very filling for me also a friend of mine who lives in michigan daughter is overweight her daughter is um just turned 16 and i would say she probably has about 150 pounds to lose or so so she took her daughter to a doctor and i believe he's a diet doctor i really didn't get into that i don't know if it's a primary care physician but she did say that he must be a diet doctor because she paid out her pocket. And he put these, um, some kind of patches or something behind her ears or either ear. I don't know if it was one or two. And he put some patches that's so, supposed to suppress her appetite. And he told her that she could only eat a pound and a half of fruit, raw fruits and vegetables for the very first 10 days, if I'm not mistaken. And she's supposed to lose 10% or 20% of her, maybe it's 10%. I think it's 10% of her body weight in the first 10 days. Well, the first day she lost three pounds. But what I find so funny is that I have been talking about this for a very long time. <laughs> and the, sec the doctor tells you to eat raw fruits and vegetables for 10 days and you're going to lose weight. But when I say, oh, I ate raw fruits and vegetables and I lost weight, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. That's too strenuous. And I'm not necessarily saying that she said it because I can't even remember our conversation about this. I'm pretty sure she didn't say that raw food was strenuous. It's just strange to me that the doctor would say go on a raw fruit and vegetable diet and then you have to use some type of chemical or whatever is coming off these little bandages that they put in behind your ear when all actuality you probably should just eat the raw fruits and vegetables and leave away the bandages i mean and then she's 16 so the things that i i knew and believed at 16 are not the things that i know and believe now but i will say that it, with willpower you can get it you don't necessarily need those i mean because it, with the mindset that you're creating at 16, that's going to be the mindset that she had for the rest of her life. But with you embedding that, oh, it worked because you had patches behind your ear that suppressed your appetite. No, it worked because you're eating five smoothies a day. That's what worked. It worked because you're adding 
fruits and vegetables into your diet that you probably have never had. You you turn your your number one McDonald's meal into a smoothie and a salad. That's why you're losing weight. I don't know. That that's just food for thought. I tell me what you think. I just think that it it would be easier to take her off the patch at sixteen and say, eat the fruits and vegetables. That's just me. Let me know what you think. Bye.